Picture this, the flicker of black and white on a vintage screen, the crackle of excitement in the air, and the enchanting world of the pirate unfolding before your eyes. Whether it was the first time or the 50th, that initial encounter with this 1948 cinematic masterpiece is etched into the corridors of memory. The glint in Gene Kelly's eyes as he danced his way through the narrative, or Judy Garland's mesmerizing performance that left an indelible mark on the soul these moments resonate with us, transcending time and space. The Pirate isn't just a film, it's a journey through the golden age of Hollywood, a voyage into a world where every scene is a brushstroke painting a canvas of wonder. A mere mention of this classic evokes a cascade of memories, the infectious rhythms, the swaying hips, and the infectious joy that transported us to a realm where dreams and reality seamlessly intertwined. Now, let's delve into the hidden gems, the unsung tales, and the fascinating tidbits that breathe life into this cinematic gem. Did you know that the iconic Mac the Black character was almost played by a different actor, altering the course of film history? Or perhaps the intricate dance sequences were a result of unscripted brilliance, a testament to the magic that happens when genius meets spontaneity. As we navigate the labyrinth of facts and fables, be prepared to rediscover the pirate in a whole new light. So, buckle up as we embark on a journey through time and celluloid, exploring the nooks and crannies of this cinematic marvel. And now, without further ado, let the curtains rise on the behind-the-scenes tales, the quirky anecdotes, and the revelations that will forever change the way you perceive the pirate. Get ready to be captivated, just like that first encounter in a dimly lit theater all those years ago. Light, camera, and let the voyage begin. The Pirate, a 1948 musical comedy film directed by Vincent Minnelli, stands as a vibrant testament to the golden era of Hollywood musicals. Originating from the imaginations of writers Albert Hackett, Francis Goodrich, and the legendary team of Arthur Freed and Nacio Herb Brown, the movie weaves a tale of mistaken identity, love, and self-discovery against the backdrop of a Caribbean-inspired setting. Anchored by the iconic performances of Judy Garland as Manuela, and Gene Kelly as the charismatic actor Seraphine. The film is a kaleidoscope of dance, music, and wit. What sets the pirate apart is its unique blend of swashbuckling adventure and the spirited choreography of Kelly, creating a cinematic experience that transcends genre conventions. The film's impact on popular culture is immeasurable, influencing subsequent musicals and leaving an indelible mark on the public's perception of the genre. With its infectious energy, memorable tunes, and dazzling visuals, the pirate remains a timeless classic that continues to enchant audiences, capturing the essence of Hollywood's golden age. In the tumultuous world of Hollywood, the 1948 movie The Pirate stands as a testament to the harsh realities of film production. From February 1947 to December 19, 1947, the film faced a turbulent journey marked by intermittent shoots that drove production costs to unprecedented levels. The financial burden reached a point where the hope of breaking even seemed bleak, contributing significantly to the movie's notorious financial downfall. The excessive production costs eclipsed the film's otherwise lackluster reception by the ticket-buying public. The cool response from audiences further compounded the economic strain, creating a perfect storm that ensured the pirate became synonymous with financial loss. The movie's fate exemplifies the precarious nature of the film industry, where the intricate dance between production challenges and audience reception can determine the destiny of a cinematic venture. Interestingly, MGM's 1952 musical Singin' in the Rain harbors a connection to the pirate. In the former, the song Make Him Laugh became a notable piece, but controversy looms as it allegedly borrowed from Be A Cloud, a song from the pirate. Despite the resemblance, Cole Porter, the original composer, chose not to file a complaint. This intriguing link adds a layer of complexity to the interwoven history of these MGM productions, both featuring the charismatic Gene Kelly. Notably, The Pirate was not merely a tale of cinematic woes. It harbored personal discord behind the scenes. The marriage of Judy Garland and director Vincent Minnelli bore witness to arguments, conflicts, and creative differences during the film's protracted production. This strain purportedly played a role in their eventual divorce after the movie's completion. Garland, a star in the late 1940s, saw a rare misstep in her career with The Pirate, further complicating the intertwining of personal and professional lives in the unforgiving world of Hollywood. 
In conclusion, The Pirate of 1948 stands as a cinematic artifact, not just for its on-screen narrative, but for the drama that unfolded behind the scenes. The intersection of financial challenges, creative conflicts, and personal struggles etched a unique chapter in Hollywood history, reminding us that even in the glittering world of cinema, success is never guaranteed. The censored dance, the truncated legacy of the pirate in 1948, the film industry witnessed an unusual twist of fate that marred the legacy of the pirate. The movie's final musical sequence, Be a Clown, composed by the renowned Cole Porter, featured the dazzling talents of the Nicholas Brothers, famed for their acrobatics and dance. Gene Kelly, who choreographed the number, insisted that they perform alongside him. However, racial prejudices of the time took a toll. This groundbreaking performance, marking the first time the Nicholas Brothers danced with a Caucasian on screen, became a casualty of bigotry. Upon release, MGM, succumbing to racial tensions in the southern states, deleted the Nicholas Brothers sequence when screening in places like Memphis. The discriminatory move left the brothers, Fayard, and Harold essentially blackballed. Forced to seek acceptance in Europe, they didn't return until the mid-60s, making a comeback appearance on the Hollywood Palace hosted by Roy Rogers and Trigger. This shocking omission wasn't the only controversy surrounding the pirate. The torrid romance depicted in the song and dance number voodoo between Judy Garland and Gene Kelly proved too much for MGM Chief Louis B. Mayer. Fueled by Mayer's disapproval, he demanded the negative of the scene be burned, attempting to erase this passionate display from cinematic history. Originally conceived as a vehicle for stars like Greer Garson and Walter Pigeon, the pirate underwent numerous casting permutations. From Cary Grant and Charles Lafton to Myrna Loy, Ingrid Bergman, William Powell, and Hedy Lama of films fate seemed uncertain. Eventually, it was decided to transform it into a musical, paving the way for the unforgettable but truncated dance legacy of the Nicholas Brothers. In retrospect, the pirate serves as a stark reminder of the racial biases prevalent in the 1940s southern United States, where even a groundbreaking performance could fall victim to discrimination. The film's controversial sequences, deleted and burned, reflect the tumultuous socio-cultural landscape of the time leaving an indelible mark on its history. And so, the story of the pirate unfolds, a tale of musical brilliance marred by the shadows of racial prejudice and executive disapproval. As we bid adieu to the cinematic voyage of the pirate, let the echoes of its whimsical tunes linger in your thoughts like a melody that dances between the realms of fantasy and reality. The vivid tapestry of this cinematic gem has woven tales of passion, deception, and the allure of a mysterious pirate who sails through the seas of desire. Now, as the curtains fall, take a moment to let the film settle in the chambers of your imagination. How did the flamenco rhythms intertwine with your heartbeat? Did the vibrant costumes ignite a kaleidoscope of emotions? Perhaps the enigmatic Gene Kelly and the mesmerizing Judy Garland have left an indelible mark on your cinematic soul. The pirate is not merely a celluloid spectacle, it's an invitation to introspection. What emotions did it stir within you? Did it awaken a dormant dream or evoke a sense of nostalgia for a bygone era? Share your personal odyssey with us. Let your thoughts become a part of the collective treasure trove of memories that this film has bestowed upon its audience. In the comments below, unravel the layers of your experience with the pirate. Whether it be a fleeting moment that ignited a spark of recognition or an intricate observation that has eluded words until now, let your voice resonate in this virtual harbor of reflections. As the celluloid curtain descends, we extend our gratitude to you, fellow Voyager, for embarking on this cinematic exploration. Your thoughts are the wind that continues to propel the sails of these narratives through the vast sea of time. Thank you for sharing this moment with us, and until our narratives intertwine again, may your cinematic adventures be as enchanting as the tales of the pirate. Farewell, dear reader, and may your memories be as timeless as the classics themselves.